behind the lot. Could you show me the road to Kulwesh Dad here? You'll have to come over nearer to me. I'm a bit deaf. I'm looking for the road to Kulwesh Dad here. You see that hill over there? Cool west that is on the far side of that hill. And who might you be looking for this? A farmer by the name of Jack Dunn. I know, know him well. Has he a big farm of land? He has a big farm of land. And what are you going there for? I'm looking for a job as a servant girl. I've come from West Kerry. Ah, he has servant girls every day of the week. They're coming and going like the time of day. Well, He's a hard man to work for. I saw an ad in the paper and I said I, I'd come looking for a job. Oh, I don't know. Are you married? No, I'm not married. But I'm why looking for a man with a good bit of land. Oh, you'll have to go down to Jack Dunn or so. Would he be a young man? He's not a young man. He's in his eighties. And he's crippled with hard races and he's a mean man to work for. But sure, I'll have to get a job. The work is very scarce back in Mishkari. Oh, be garden, you'll have to go down there or so. i better be on my way, so. Go on down that boreen or so. And I'm going up this boreen to see a friend of mine. Good day, sir, and thank you. Good day. Do you want to lift out here, village? Well, I'm going as far as Cool West. Do you know Jack Dunn in Cool West? I know Jack Dunn well. I'm, I'm passing that way. Okay. We'll sit in. Thank you, Father. Before a dear end, who could be calling at this hour? Are you Jack Dunn? I am indeed. I'm Nell Murphy. I'm from West Kerry. I wrote you a letter last week telling you I was calling to you as you were looking for a servant girl. You had a notice in the Kerry man. Oh, I got your letter. Come on in and sit down. Would you ever close the door? Have you a bad leg? Oh, it is the bones, girl. The doctors have a fancy name for it. Ars... Arthritis. Arthritis, you mean? There's a lot of that back wished. I suppose to the cold and the dampness. 
around the hills, much like here. True, Farrow, girl. True, Farrow. Come on up and sit down near the fire. I see by your letter that you have worked with farmers with this past few years back in West Kerry. I did so, and the work was very hard back there, Jack. And then God knows, Neil, you'll get nothing soft around here if that's what you're after. You'll be up in the morning at seven, put down the fire, milk the cows, feed the chickens, and tackle dust for the cranberry. You'll have to wash, cook, and sew. You'll get three meals a day, and you'll have your own room. I pay five guineas a year, and the door will have to be locked at nine o'clock, and the lantern put out after we say the rosary. Well, what do you say to all that? I will take the job, as I'm a long way from home now, and the work is very scarce back in Wish Kerry. Have a bite, Jack. It would be very handy to go to the village. No, I have not. And there will no bike come inside this door as long as I live. Why? What's wrong with having a bike? The last girl that worked here fell off the bike and broke her hand and broke the bike as well. It cost me a half a crown to fix it. She didn't work for three weeks. And I gave her the road when she looked for money to fix it. If you want to go to the village, you can walk or carry dust and care. Right, Jack, you're the boss, I suppose. I am indeed, and that's the way it will be. I'd better unpack. Your room is up there. Look, hand me over that candle there, and I'll light it for you. I listen, girl, mind and don't burn anything which is above there. Well, Jack, whatever about you, I'll have my drop. Yourself and your man just spiked in his ear. You might have more than your match yet in Nell from the Wished.
There is bread and milk there on the table for all. Thanks, Jack. I'm starving. I got the train from Dingle Tabby Field. And I got a lift from a priest in a podium top tat here. I'm very tired now. Neil, when you're finished there, would you ever look put a stitch there in my old draw? Jack, they're fit to be dumped. What do you buy new pair? There won't be one bob spinning clothes inside this door until the doors are worn. Look, there's a box up there in the cave and you'll get a spool of thread. Right, Jack. Tell me, did you stay long in the last place for a word? I did, Jack. I spent three long years. Oh, I see you. Were you ever married, Jack? No, I was not. You don't know what you're missing? How do you know? Were you there yourself? No, but I used to listen to my friends, my married friends, back in the wish. Oh, I see you. I ain't in John Lewis, that temple. That's belong to my mother. Right, Jack. Jack, is it all right to call you Jack? Oh, indeed it is. You can call me Jack. Sure, I suppose that you call me a lot worse. I'm supposed to be a mean, hard working man. But I have seen nothing all my life, only hard work and hard times, girl. No, Jack. That's done. By God, Neil. But you made a good job of it. Oh, plenty of practice, Jack. By God, you're a good hand at the needle. Indeed I am. How long have you the arthritis, Jack? Here I have it a good number of years, Neil. I was all right while Mossy the Quack was alive, but when Mossy died, I'm crippled altogether. My friend Mary O'Connor coaxed me to go to the new doctor in Abbey Fail. He examined me, and he said the right leg wasn't too bad, but the Left leg was a hopeless case altogether. And I asked him if I saw. And he said to me, he thought it was old age. And that he could do nothing for it. But sure I told him, wasn't the other leg the same age as it? He did nothing for me, Neil. And if you don't mind, he wanted to get paid for it. And that's the last time I ever went near a doctor. And that's, I never will as long as I live. Neil, it is time to go to bed. We better kneel down and say the rosary.
down on the flags near. Every girl that came here said the rosary in the flags. Right, I take your flowers for my knees. Don't touch them, Neil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Get you up this after seven o'clock. Neil, Neil, you must put down the fire and milk the cows and cattle back to the family. Neil, Neil, God bless you, Neil, you wish Kerry bitch. Yeah. 
God bless if I don't just do build a stall instead of milking cows out in the open. Jesus, the father of the deities. And she's not even for me to come to cause yet. Well, if I didn't know to be going after the Kremlin, and my milk always forced it. Well, if she ain't know what he'd preach, the job I had to get her out of the bed this morning. Oh, the war I did, and it wouldn't do the awful fool, Jack. And to bother with the likes of her, why didn't you actually know him? to come over that long journey from the west to Kerry looking for a job. Jesus, if she was any use, that would be she worked for her behind there. And now you reap and that's all she is. Oh dear, dear, dear. Oh my God. Oh dear. Oh my God. Oh, that is fortunate. Oh. Oh, God above. Jesus, and she didn't deem yet. Oh, God. Come out, you know. That's the boy. He... No. No, we're ready. Come on. Come on. God bless you. Come on. Come on.
That's the milk for the house. In the name of God, Nell, what kept you at this hour of the morning? Look at the time of the day it is. What kept me? That ass. Running around the field after him. And I couldn't catch him. There's nothing wrong with that ass. And the other girl had no trouble with that ass. What did you do to him? Well, I did nothing. I did nothing to him. He's running around the field and I couldn't catch him. You'll have to get rid of him. Get rid of him? What are you talking about? I'll get rid of you first. How do we get rid of that ass? No other means of transport. What do you think, woman? Right. There's sir. the book for the cranberry. When God made time, he made plenty for some. But not half enough for you, Jack. There's the book for the cranberry. And don't forget to tie the tank nail. With you. Don't let stupid ass picked up speed and knock the tank off. I'm going to claim and I'm late. What am I going to do? Jack will have my life. What Jack? am I going to do? But Some of the milk spilled out. But Jack is another stupid ass. My name is Jim O'Brien. I leave up the road and I go on to the bog. What am I going to do now? Listen, Jack know. told me to tie the, the, the tank and I didn't do it. I should have done it. He told me to tie it. Now I've spilled some of the milk. What am I going to do? He'll have my life. He won't. He won't. He won't. Calm down. Calm down. Settle, girl. Settle. Settle. Don't up. The Ooh. ass and, the, and Jack, they had me so annoyed. We, I couldn't we, think we, of anything. Stop. 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 We'll think of something now. Settle down. Settle down. You don't think it's time for the family now yet now. Settle down. Settle down. What do you say now? Look. There's a well down over here, look. And we'll try in a small drop of water in it. Come on, give the time only gallons in the book and Jack won't know the difference. And will that do? Trail, trail. I walked with Jack before we fell out. I know exactly what he has around the family. Man, I'm not sure. I do, Carol. Look, we're fine. Grab our tank now, look, and we'll, we'll, we'll mark around down. Come on. No. Oh, we're not away, don't we know? Don't 
second hour, one second hour. Okay, one more, maybe, just a minute, sir, I've said. Sure. I need class, it's better than the D class. I need a break for you. I'm Nell Murphy. I'm from West Kerry. This is my yeah. first day with Jack Dunn. Did you come out of from West Kerry? I did indeed. I want to finish up with Jack Dunn. Right. Well, sure, that's cause. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Well, Jim, you're a godsend. Get a thing that never get a do it for any man. Think that's not all of it. Think that's not all of it. Hey, you better be on your way to the crime right now. But come here. Then any half could meet me this evening, is there? Because I'd love to find out how you got on. The tank and the meat things. I could go to the well for a bucket of water, but I won't be able to stay long. Yeah. Well, Jennifer, we're going to the well. I'll meet you at Touring Bridge. Seven o'clock. Right, so... Is that all right? That's fine, Jim. Seven o'clock. Hey, I must go out to the bog. I'd be... better be after the creme. I'll see you, Jim. All right, Carol. Good Thanks, luck. Jim. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. she comes from the Kremlin. <clears throat> but, Jack, what brought me all together is the land. We do consider letting us the land. We are bound in one another, and we are friends all our life. And it would be very convenient for her, no more servant girls to be breaking her out. By God, Mary, I never thought of letting the land. I had it in my head all right that I would sell it and get out of trouble altogether. My heart is broken with all them serving girls, and this one is no better than the last ones. In fact, she is even worse. 
Jack, did you say you'd sell the land? Well, Patchine and myself never thought we'd consider selling it. But we're bound in one another, and we're neighbours all our life, Jack. And I take good care of old Jack if we sold us for land. Sure, and we corn together for years and years. Since our father's time, we're corn. And we would never again want for anything, Jack. I take good care of old Jack in our old age. I'll be going now, Jack, before the new girl comes home from the Kremlin. And Jack, what we discuss need no go further than that cat there now. I'll talk to Petchin about it and I'll be back. And mind yourself now, Jack. Neil, I kept you out. You got out of the ashes. I kept you out. There was a long range in front of me. And I had to wait for my turn. And in spite of all the toll, I wasn't the last. And if you got your pair in, you would be the first. Look at all the work that has to be done. The beds have to be made. The spuds washed for the dinner. And you got out of the ashes. You need me that cranberry book. Glory be to God. I'm telling you, pig yell in the milk today. Well, Nell, you must be a great milker altogether. That's the first time now that I can remember that I'm up a gal in the milk like that. The rest of the girls mustn't be able to milk them cows at all. Well, you know, Fat, you're a great milker. I'm a great milker, all right. God, Neil, but you were, you were a good milker. Oh, my girl, today. God knows, Neil, you were able to milk cows, and you know what? You could be a great worker altogether. And then, Neil, I'll give you a chance. And I'd say, Neil, you could do with a drop of tea, you after coming home. Glory. Glory be to God. My darling, Neil, you seem to be a good baker. Oh, I'm well used to it, Jack. My mother was a great baker. I suppose we're at it a long time. I am indeed. Did you start young at it? I said I was only about ten. My God, Neil, but that's a fine griggy cake. We won't be hungry today.
Neil, don't forget to put the cover on them. I can't stay long. I have a bucket of water at the well, and I'll be back to Jack soon. He'll suspect something. But how do you get on this morning with him? Oh, great. When I gave him the Kramer book, you should see his face. It lit up. I never saw anything like it. Jesus, Nilda, now what? He'll fall for her. By Christ, now what? He'll fall for her. By Jesus, he is. I never saw any man to smile like that before. And tell no, he'll fall for her. Nil, is there any hope you'll see me tomorrow night? I'd love to, Jim, but... It would be impossible. Jack is so exact, you know, and the rosary said at nine o'clock. And he locks up then after that. I wouldn't be able to. Hey, you might be able to snake out the window after nine o'clock. And then meet up over the top of the road. Maybe I could chance it. Ah, you will. Go on. Go on. Say you will. Go on. I'll try. I will. I will. Good girl. I will, Jim. Good girl. I'll see you tomorrow night, Jim. Postman, a parcel for you, Jack. Are you there? Oh, well, God, in the afternoon, you get one of them. Any news down the village? No, nothing happened that all is quiet. I got to the bit chilly. I hit away for the fire. Yeah. Good looking time. New Year. Ah, Rosemary, dear Jack, just 
and Lord, open you our will. I am sending you all bits and pieces of clothes. They might come in useful. I'll be seeing you shortly. All the best, Jack, from your godchild, Rosemary. When, after all those years, Are you in bed yet, Nell? I'm saying my prayers. Nell, wouldn't you go to bed so that you'll be able to get up early in the morning? I'm saying a prayer for you, Jack. God bless you, Nell. Good night, Jack. When I get out this window and Jimmy's waiting for me. Oh, Jimmy, he's waiting for me. Oh, I'm gonna fit out the window. Oh, God, when I open this window. Oh, God, Jimmy. Oh, I have my hand wet well, out the window. I'm too busy. Oh, God. What can I do? What can I do? What in the name of God is keeping her? She should have been here long ago. Can't be here in the name of life. Is that who, Nell? Well, Jesus, it is, Jim. Why are you? Were you expecting someone else? No, 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 no. But it was getting late now. I was getting worried about you. But sure, I couldn't open the blasted window and I had to go out the door. I had to wait for Jack to go to sleep and creep out the door. Yeah, it's all right, it's all right. I'm not here now and that's the main thing. Hey, it's a bit cold. No chill, there's no, there's no chill in it. There's a shady spot down here. Look, we, 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 we'll we sit down there for a while and we'll have a no chat. I'll throw my old bike against the ditch. Isn't the bike handy, Jim? I'd oh. love to have a bike, Jim. Would you? I would. It'll be handy to go to the village. You know what? Isn't there a bike, bike below in the shed? Belong to my poor mother, God rest her. Yes, sir. No. Oh, wheels a bit are flat, net needs, but I could fix them. No, I'll drop the wheel, let's say, get it going. I'll bring it up to if never fixed up. Oh, Jim, and you're great. You're not at all. Think nothing of it, yellow. Think nothing. Look, I'll throw this old bike into the ditch here, look, and, and, and we can sit down. I hope Jack won't say anything about it. I'll let him off to hell. What's he to say about it? I don't like him, you have a bike. Sure. You have to have some way of getting around. Huh? It says mm. all the walking. I know, Jim. Huh? You're there, look, mate. I ain't no, Nell. I've been doing a bit of thinking about this for the past few days. And if we could see it my way, if myself and myself would get together, even husband and wife, and we would look after Jack's place and we could put the two of them together, and his money and all, I should be to the finest place in the parish. We could have everything, tractor, motor and car, the whole lot, the works. What do you think of that, Neil? I'll go along with you, Jim. Uh, you know, I do it. <laughs>
Your goddaughter from America? I wrote you at Christmas. Did you not get it? Oh, I did. Well, you're welcome, Rosemary, to these parts. Come on in and sit down. Thank you. Well, after all these years, Rosemary, wish you would you tell me how's your mother getting on? Jack, she's fine. They're all fine over there. And how are you keeping yourself? You're not good at all, Rosemary. You're the bones of me crippled. But for that old stick, I wouldn't be able to get around at all. I had a few weeks vacation coming to me, Jack, and I'm staying with the Shines in the village. Will you tell me who runs the farm for you? I have a girl working with me. She's from West Kerry. Nell is her name. On the start, she was the devil to get her out of the bed. But now, she turned out to be a great worker. I'm very pleased with her. Do you remember, Jack, when I was a young lady and used to come here on my holidays? Oh, indeed, Rosemary, I do well. They were the good old times. We had a great crack in the bog and going to the cream rain in the meadow. Ah, sure, they were the times. They were great times, Rosemary. And I used to often say to you, Rosemary, at that time, God, you'll make a great farmer's wife yet. Do you remember that, Rosemary? I remember it. All right, Jack. I suppose it's time now that I should be thinking about settling down and finding a man with a bit of land. Well, Rosemary, since I got you a letter, I have been thinking a lot. Mary next door called and she mentioned to me that she would I let the land or sell it. And I did a lot of thinking. And what I have thought of, I'm going to make my will and leave the place lock, stock and barrel. Well now, Rosemary, what do you say to that? Well, Jack, you're an old dog, so you are to be like long ago again. We'll have a great time, and I look after you well. And Rosemary, do you know if I will you ever get a silly sister to take out just before we go back? I will, Jack, and I'll I'll come with him myself, and we'll have it all sorted out in a few days. And look now, Rosemary, you get the old kitchen and put down, and we'll have a good drop of tea for us together. I will, and Jack, you're an old dog. Right, Rosemary. Wish you, Rosemary. Do you remember the fella you used to be going out with? Did you ever hear? But I never felt better in all my life. And how is Nell getting on with you, Jack? Never better, Mary. The best worker I ever had. No need to call her in the morning. She's up, out, down the fire, milk the cows, and off the first to the cranberry. The best girl that ever I had in all my life. You do give any thought to what we spoke about the last day, Jack, about who's selling us the land? Well, Mary, I didn't. And the reason I didn't is at the way Neil turned out. I didn't even give it a thought. But if Neil continues on the way she is, I don't think I will sell at all. But on the other hand, if Neil changes, I still have it in the head to sell. Well, I'll be going, so, Jack. I'll see you again. You're always welcome here, Mary. Then there for the minute, Jim. Well, thank God. Any news? Give him the word. 
Me check the under no girl. I did. I saw her going to the Kremlin, doesn't it? Rumor has it you did more than say going to the Kremlin. Rumors? What rumor have we had now? Rumor had it at the Kremlin this morning. That you're walking out together. Right, guys. You all ought to be doing no day now, girl, and to be listening to rumor. And that you're conspiring the two of you to take Jack Dunn's land off of him. What have you said? Well, not that we won't get much from Jack Dunn now. I wouldn't mind only I had asked you myself to lease the place to me. Yeah. Well, what kind of a reply do we get? He'd think about it. Nothing definite. That's all he'll do. He'll think about it. You won't get nothing off of Jack Dunn, girl, I'm telling you. Rumor has it now you're thinking of getting married. Jesus, we'll listen to the whole rumor, girl. Of course, there's a lot you to be said for single life, Jim. Is that? That is. A lot to be said for your sure own boss and all. I suppose we know all about single life and you married yourself. Well, I had my experience of it. You know nothing, girl, about single life. Single life can get lonely or not? <laughs> get up with you, Come on, come on. Come on. I let you catch you in your heart. Come on. No, sit. Go home. Go home. Go home. You start to go gossip. Go home. Christ almighty, a man can't do nothing with all women and that prostitute. What's all you doing, prostitute? I have to now, the most made Jack Dunn's first time in. I have the whole lot of that kid. And the more there is, man, Jesus. Hi, Jack. How are you? I brought along Michael Flynn. He's the solicitor from Newcastle West. Good day, sir. And this is Margaret Shine from the shop, from the house that I'm staying in below in the village. Hello, sir. Come in, let here. This is a summary of what took place between John Dunn, John Thomas Dunn and myself. I being a practicing solicitor, Michael Flynn, the square of Newcastle West. I, John Thomas Dunn of Cool West, at Hay County Limited, being of sound mind, leave all my possessions, lock, stock and battle, and 500 pounds in 100 pound notes to my godchild, Rose Mary Walsh of 10729 South Albany, Chicago, dated on this day, the 4th of the 8th, 1939. Will you sign here, Mr. Dunn, please? Well, now, uh, John Thomas Dunn, you have your work complete. Uh, it is signed here, your signature is here, and the witness is signed, and that completes the whole lot. And I must now, I'll officially stamp that now, Mr. Dunn, and that will complete my business here. Congratulations, Mr. Dunn. Thank you very much. Thank you. And you thank sir. you, Rosemary. And thank you. God bless you now. Jack, you're after giving me more than what I ever expected. And the money. Tell me, Rosemary, how's old mother? I got a telegram last night, Jack. My mother isn't well. She's been taken to hospital, so I'll have to go back, and that's why I got the solicitor on so quickly. Oh, I'm sorry to hear the she's not well, Rosemary. Rosemary, I want to say, if we are just happy, I would say no if we got all things stored away because Neil will be back shortly from the Cranberry and we won't know, won't you know anything about business which went down here this morning. So the quicker we take out the things, the better. Okay, Mr. Dunn. But I'll call again, Jack, before I go back in a couple of days. Do that, Rosemary. Do that.
on her bed was dressed. God Almighty, is she gone altogether? And she has the table set, and the fire is down. God, what is she doing? Or is she gone out building the car? I don't know what's going on. Or where is she at all? Oh. this morning. Has to meet the house. I'm ready to go up to Kremlin now. I was up this morning early at six o'clock. I washed the clothes and did a few more jobs as well. Well, you were a great girl all together, Nils. But you take care of your breakfast before you go to the Kremlin. You have a lot of work to do. Well, Jack, I was up early this morning. I got up and washed a few clothes and did a few more jobs as well. I milked the cows, but then all acts of you slowed me down an awful lot. Would you consider selling him? I give it a thought. He's getting old anyway. Yes, yeah. Nearly you went to breakfast before we got to the cranberry. You went awful lot of work, too. No, I don't need any breakfast. I ate it this morning. I was up early, I told you. Did you have yours? No, oh, Neil, I hadn't any breakfast this morning. I'm not feeling that well, Neil. I'll be paying across that chest there. And, and a bit of shortness of bread. Yeah, I thought you didn't look well at all. You're all right, Jack. I'll get the doctor for you, Jack. That's what I do. You'll get I'll no get the doctor. doctor, Ned. I'll be all right. Oh, no, you'll have to have a doctor, Jack, if you're not well. There'll be no doctor come inside the door, Ned. I'll be all right, I tell you. Look, go away to the cranberry. I'm all right. Whatever you say, Jack. I won't be long at the cranberry. I'll be back as soon as I can, to you. Going to sell that today, Jim. You know what I never missed the fair night here myself? I got nothing, I, I, I was a great day there, or not? I had to run three rounds of the field today trying to catch the bugger. But he's going today, Jim, whatever I get for him. Oh, he's going, I'm not bringing him home. Oh, what did Jack do, sir? She just knows nothing about it. Oh, don't you? He does not, and I don't want him to know. Okay. But sure, you might find a pony for me. Oh, I'll find a pony for her. You might find a pony for her. You might find a pony for her. You might better to go out to the fair, would you, sir? Look, I tell what we'll do, look, I tell what we'll do. You hold tough there and walk away to Reyes. And I'll get the pony that I bought in the store, because I want to show him after one night here today. And I'll get you. the trap. And the two of us will go in tight here and the pony and trap. And can we bring the with us? Right, soldier. Good day, Jack. And how are you keeping? How are you, Mary? I'm not that good at all, Mary. Come to, Jack. That girl, near. Yes, cut off my ass to the fair in spite of and he was here for 20 years. I couldn't stop her. She knows that I wouldn't be able to stop her, and she cut him off in spite of me to send him at the fair. My old rip. Faith, and I'll go down, Jack John, and I'll bring back your ass to you. Make damn sure of that. Will you, Mary? I will indeed. I'll go and I'll get that nail and I'll bring her and that back to you this very evening, Jack. Well, Jackson. Mary, I'll be more than grateful for you. Leave it to me now, Jack. Leave it to me. I'll be back with you at Jack Dunn this very evening. That ripping bitch from Wesh Kerry, the trouble she's have to put me to. <laughs> Right. 
Vad är det du säger? 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 Vad är det How much you're asking the heat for the little pig, my lovely Seven lady? Seven and six, sir. Seven and six. Hold a minute. You have a lady down, please. Will you take five shillings? No, sir. In one word, lad. It costs a lot to put him out, sir. I have eight in family now, in all fairness. Four boys and four girls. Well, Come I on, in ten, one word, Seven shillings, sir. Seven shillings. No, no, six shillings. Well, seven shillings. Six and six. No, seven shillings, and we'll check in. A one never got for the seven shillings. Put it out, sir. <laughs> My lovely lady. <laughs> Before the evening's out. I hope I didn't tell my ass now. You do it, but call it him up two chairs. You'll find this good pony for me. I'll find the cup for him. Oh, boy. 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 No, I'm not taking two oh, shillings. No, I'd rather take it home. No, no, I can't give you look money. You'll have to give me look. I, I can't. I'm only a servant girl, and I I'm working for a main farm. I, 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 I can't. I can't give you look money at all. Half a crown now. No, that won't do. I take it home, so half a crown. I, I, I'll give you well, that. I'll give you your own. Are you just young servant girl? Indeed, and I am. Just young servant girl going home this very minute. Why should I have to go home? You lend that an old bitch for much. You're the greatest gossiper. You go away, my dear old bitch.
this morning I'm washing them clothes and he take them off with the hitch. Look at your drawers, look. And he putting them around with his heart and around the muck outside there. I'd have to put them up on the inside line now to dry them. That goat was here for years, Ned. 
even in my father's time. It was lucky to have a goat running with the cows to keep away all the diseases from them. Do you know what is true for you, Jack, about the goat running with the cows? We had goats behind at home too. There was 13 of us. And she, we, we were never sick. We were fine and healthy, I'm telling you. I suppose the, we were ate on the goat's milk. No, Jack, I've all the jobs done outside. I've the hens fed and the tank washed. And what job do you want me to do next? Yes. Would you ever clip the hedge in front of the house? You will get the clippers inside in the church shed, up on the rafter, over the door. Neil, I think i go and have a lie down for a while. Right, Jack. I'll call you up for the dinner when it's ready. All right. I'll be just outside there. All right. I'm all right, Jack. Help me up to the bed. Do you want some water, Jack? Help me up to the bed. Jack, I'll have to get the doctor. Oh. Come on, Jack. Oh, I've got you, Jack. Oh. Go easy, go easy. Are you all right now, Jack? I can get my leg on the bed. Oh. Oh. What will I do? What will I do? Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. I'll have to get the doctor now, too, Jack. Oh. I'll be all right. No, you won't. I'll have to get the doctor. Give her a light Take it oh. easy now, Jack. Oh. Oh. Now open the door. Now, Jack. of God and on this fine day, ma'am. A few pictures here, ma'am, a few statues, ma'am, holy pictures and statues, ma'am. Sacred half now, ma'am, to protect the house, ma'am, hang it up on the wall, and there's a lovely little prayer in the back, ma'am, and a uh, child of prayer, ma'am, for the children now, ma'am, for yourself and the boss, ma'am, now, ma'am, could you say your prayers and protect you in the winter time, ma'am, and a statue of the whole sacred half now, ma'am, put you up in the window, ma'am, and pray. Holy water, ma'am, protect you, ma'am, now, holy water, by the door, ma'am, a little picture there now of the sacred half, ma'am. The holy medal, ma'am. Would you like the holy medal, ma'am, around your neck, ma'am? No, no, no. protect you, ma'am. Yourself from the boss and the children, no, ma'am. Pray for you, ma'am. I pray for you, ma'am. I'm only a servant girl here. I've no money. I can't afford it. I couldn't buy anything off you now. Uh, I have a, a few children, ma'am, now, and then and the man himself would have drop in the milk and the, the bacon, ma'am. Would you would you be able to spare that, ma'am, now for me, ma'am, today? I'll see what I can Lord, find. Lord bless you, ma'am, and spare all the help, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank right. you, thank you, thank you, ma'am. Bread and bacon. Lord, spare the help, ma'am. Lord, spare the help. And God and the bless you, ma'am. God bless you, ma'am. I'll pray for you, ma'am. Are you sure now in Pinterest interested in a few holy pictures? No, there, no, I have no money. I can't afford it. Are you sure, ma'am? No, no, I can't. Thank you, and I'll pray for you, ma'am. Thank you very much. It would be all right if the man called there for the scrap metal, ma'am? Oh, take it away. I'm sure that's on your own piece of scrap. Lord, you spare the help, and I'll away. pray for you, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Lord, bless you now, and God bless you, ma'am. God bless you. Jack? I am, Neil. How do you feel now? I'm feeling a small bit better. Will you have a spot at all? No, Neil, I won't have any dinner today. Are you sure Jack you don't want the doctor? No, there'll be no doctor, Neil. I tell you, I'll be all right. It'll be a long day at night there, Jack, and you might be better off to get the doctor now. I tell you, I want no doctor. Right, Jack.
You can do try one. Put in your way, Jack. No, I won't hurt Hello. Do you know who I had while I was cutting the hedge? A travelling woman and her man. They were selling, she was selling holy pictures and medals. But you know, I had no money for them. She was looking for a drop of milk then for the child, so I gave it to her. And a bit of bread, and a bit of bacon that was there. And I also gave her those scrap that was outside there. What are you know, saying? Gave her the scrap? Should have been on the outside there to turn around. Well, you will go off now and go and get it to her again. As fast as you can. Why don't I give you away that scrap? Or what do you think? Go off now and go and collect it again from him. But Jack, should I go? Go off I... now and go and collect that straw scrap from her. What am I going to do? I have to find Jim now. What am I going to do? Go and give him away the scrap. You don't get me wrong, I'll carry no shame. But the Lord made it for him in the repoke. When I was twelve, she said to me, son, O oh, son of age, I plan to be seen. But the fourteen is my living and the road to my home. Oh, you like the program, I think or I live and I think or I'll die. For the road can't be worrying, I'll plain to be long. For the mine of the dingy, I'm proud of my name and that is. <laughs> Is it? Is it cold? I don't know. Wait a minute, Chief. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Mm. Yeah. Let the chancel. Okay. Wait a minute, stop, Jim. Stop and I have a look. Are you the woman I met this morning? This is her, Jim. This is the woman. I am, ma'am. I gave you scrap. Yeah. I wanted to give you. I gave Hello, you. Hello, wish the Lord bless you. Just your man, thank you for the We do this for neighbors. Hello, I want to stop now. now. My husband has a metal soul, man. Lord bless you. No, I have to get him back. I couldn't get him to get him. I can't give you what I have. I want this soul. I can't go home with him. I want to get him to get him. I want to get him to get him. No, no, no. I can't. 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 I Yeah, we can. 
Tell me, the Jack Jones into all not onto the bar? No, I had to come myself, Jim. Then the kid on the tuff in the house. I had to come for a handful of tuff. Oh, and Jack isn't good at all. Why, what was he today, eh? Oh, he's... he's talking about his father and he sees this... And do you know what he's talking about? He keeps talking about this Rosemary. And Rosemary. This, this man from Newcastle West. He's talking non-stop about him. 
and he sees his father and his mother and he's gone on. He's, he's Jordan, he's definitely Jordan, Jim. He isn't good, Sada. He isn't good. He isn't good. A Rosemary. A Rosemary, he's his father. Have you stopped talking about his father and mother? Without saying him? Do you know what, Neil? I'm thinking. If we're going to make any move about all this of a place, now's our time to make it. One more chance. I hope no caught there. I have another smart little bit to put above there, look. I do the smart with the rear foot. And I cut across the shell coat. And I meet whoever the check tunes gap. And we'll win together. So he won't know me at all. Oh, he won't know you at all, Jim. He won't know me at all, sir. He won't know you at all. He won't know you at all. Come on. Into a soft spot like oh, that. I didn't know about it, Jim. Huh? I couldn't see. I'm so worried about you. Yes. Oh, boy, come on. Go on, go on. Go on. I shall laugh at a woman to drive into a spot like that. Well, Have I... you any bags in which carry? Well, I was only at a few of them. Hold on to us, hold on to us. There was always a man with us. Nice down, my dear. If you don't feel it's off again. Huh? I never know. I never know. What's it? What? 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 Oh, thank you, God. Look, time is moving on this. And Jack Dunn could be dead enough. We'd better go back and settle up that affair, and we'll come back to the house. So look, we'll carry home that. Hold on there, now. I know it. When he's a native, we played cards at that table. Myself and his father. Must help me. She was a decent man he was. Let me was contrary as well uh, as a man above. Where did he get it from? I didn't know the name of God. I didn't know the name of God. He's sleeping away, I was saying. He's there checking him now again. What do you feel now, Jack? Do you know this man? This is Jim. Do you know me, Jack? I do. I do the man the steal our eggs out from under the hens. And my mother and myself chased you over the road. And what did you do? You started helping the exactors. Jack, Jack, wake up, Jack. I'm Jim O'Brien, Jack. Your next door neighbor, Jack. I know wake who up. you are. Get out of my house, you three. Get <laughs> out of my house. He's Jordan, then. Yes, he's Jordan. Indeed, I'm not. 
when my father is from home from the creamery, he'll give you what's going to you. Get out of my house, you thief. Nel, Nel. You robber, get out of my house. Nel, he's gone. He's not mad. He's not mad. He's not mad. He's not mad. He got some water. We're going to get you some water, Jack. Yes. What can I do? Huh? Check his pulse, too. Check his pulse. Oh, his pulse is very weak, Jim. I'll have to get a doctor for him. A doctor? Don't mind you, a doctor. Doctor, don't you put him into hospital? Oh, Jim, I can't no. get him. No. Oh, Jim, look you at me. You can't get a doctor. Doctor, if a doctor puts him into hospital, we'll be at all together. Oh, Go. I have to do something. Go away and get a piece of paper and a pencil, we'll get him. Go on. And we'll set up the affairs first. Huh? Jack, will you wake up from here? Uh. Jack, can you write? Can you write, Jack? No. Again. My father. Was able to write. What's he say? His father was able to write. He sent something about his father again. Get him to sign it. Get him to sign the bottom bit. Can make an X. I tired. Do do. Do get him to make an X. Do what? Come on, Jack. Write for me. Hold it, Jack. And I help you. No, that's that do, Jim? That's do fine, that's do fine. Hey, we'd better send for the police now. Don't mind your doctor, because the doctor now we delayed. Oh, I think we'd have to send for the doctor. Send for the priest, come on. Oh, Jack, I don't like the look of him at all. He's all right, he's all right. We'll do the job oh, now, come on. Oh, Nell, Nell, Nell. What, Jim? Is he gone? No, 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 no. He What's mushed the money. Jack don't know what's the money. He mushed the money and it's definitely in the house. I know, so where but where did he put it? Do a spot money while, while we're here. No, no, you can search him to huh? the back. Search there. Nothing here, Ned. Is there? No. Nothing. Which one's on the pillow? Oh, mind him. Mind him, Jim. Hi, hi. Oh, Jim. What is that? Hold that. Hold that. Here, here. Hold that. Hold that. Oh, I don't know, Jim. Give me the piece of paper and I'll write the wheel. Yeah. Oh, I don't think it's right, Jim. So, oh, why would it be right? Oh, I don't know. Why would it be right? If we don't do it, someone else will do it. He did the main bloody miser. Oh, poor Jack. <laughs> poor Jack, my, 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 my. Oh, I don't know, Jim, is it right? Hey, stop. Listen now, oh, listen to this now. Listen to this. Oh. I, Jack Dunn, of full west right here, leave all that I have to Nell Murphy, oh. Hoosh, Dingle, County Carrier. Sign. Oh. And have his ex here. Shut up. The man who knows that I had to sign the next. Oh, I don't think it's right, Jim. So how could it be wrong? Oh. If we don't do it, look, Ned, someone else will do it. Look at all the money he has. Look, I'm better dated. I'm better dated. And he works so hard for it. What day are we today? Oh, the 15th of the 16th, I don't know. <laughs> the 16th. The 16th. Oh, poor oh, Jack. Of September. I got to like him in the engine. Nineteen. Cut there. Nine. No. All signed, sealed, and delivered. Everything all wrapped up and ready for order. Oh, I don't know, Jim. Look, I said, what we'll do. Look, we'll count the money now, right? Oh, I don't go away then. Look, listen to me. We'll count the money, and you can go away then and put your mind in and send for the priest for him. Oh. We'll count the money first now, and we'll send for the priest then. All right. Jesus, Ned. Ned, put it away, honey. Put it away. Put it away. Who's that? Who's that? Come on, come on. Come on, come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Is there something wrong? I have poor Jack doing it a bad fall. <laughs> Jack is... Jack is very weak. In the British Islander. He oh, won't make the man. night. I was just going for the priest. Oh, that's a poor man. You want to come up to see him? I would, of course, yes. Oh, poor Jack. Oh, poor man. Very well, no, he mightn't even be able to talk to him. Oh, the poor man. Oh, oh Jack, what we are of? Oh, no. Man, 
want, 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 want to know. He go, he absolvo, a peccatus to us. In nomina patris, et filia, et spirit, et santa. Amen. Amen. I have to go. I have another sick call in the village. Okay, Good Father. Look. Thank you, Father, for coming. Thank you. Jack is very weak. He's not well at all. Are you all right? Do you want some water? Sorry. No, I'll sit down a minute. Okay. I'll help you up there, Jane. Or maybe you would like to see him. Would you like I to would. go up and Can see, I see him? Jack? Okay, I'll help you up. Open the door there. Then. Didn't I say I'd come back and I'd look after you? Yeah. Oh, he's not gone, is he? Oh, he's not. Jack? Oh, Jack, he's not. He's not gone yet, is he? Can't find any pulse. No, oh, I think he's gone. gone. Oh, poor Jack. And he was so good and kind to me, and he did me, and all he gave me. Oh, Jack. Oh, Father, what in heaven? Nobody can name me. I can be comfortable. Maybe the name of this is a bit. It's a stand in the bread and we give us our trespasses. We give us our trespasses. We give us our trespasses. We give us our Did you get the medal back in the finish? You did the poor man. Uh, everybody was away, I couldn't all his way, brother. And of course the years were there. The years, and the father, 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 the Yeah, the 
Should I report those criminals to the police? I don't know, girl. But then again, it would be great to see that bitch from West Kerry in Abdurna. Jack thought highly of her, and she could be your neighbour yet. He did. She could be my neighbour yet. And I'll tell you, she'd have all the more respect for me after the hiding we're after giving her. They were meant for each other, the two of them. They were. But they'll need all their strength and cutting to get him through the hard times ahead of him. Jack always spoke of the hard times. He did hard times. But I suppose for now, Rosemary, we'll have to let bygones be bygones. Jim! Jim, wait for me! Come on. Wait for me. We shouldn't have gone near interfered with that will, Jim. It's all ankle about the will. It's all ankle about Jack Dunn. It's all ankle about any one of them. Oh. Look, that yank, look. Do you think she's going to stay around here in that parcel of land? I don't hope in the name of God. She'll have that for sale in a year or two. And the other man that's going to buy it? The man that's going to buy it is Jim O'Brien, who's looking at him here. Because he's a smarter man than anyone thinks in that here. Do you hear me? I know, but what am I going to do now, Jim? I've not to show for six months with Jack Dunn. I've no wages, none, and I'll have to go back to Wish Kerry. I've no place to go now. Look, it's all right. While Jack Dunn was making peace with his maker, I was making peace with his pocket. I have his, I, I, I have his, I, I have his watch here, look, and if you were bothered with it, I know I wonder nothing about it. You didn't, Jim. I did. And say nothing to no one about it now. You hear me? I don't know, Jim. I'll have to, I'll have to go back. I've no place to go. Where am I going to stay? Go back where? To Rush Carrier. Should I have to go back home? Well, look. So I came here for a job, look, and now I'm look, look, out look, of it. Look, 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 look. There's a house above there, look. In the hill. There's no one there, but my son. There's a lot of students standing. They don't want to come up and join me. What do you mean, Mr. King? I didn't mean it. I wouldn't care if I didn't mean it. Well, look at this, yeah. I don't care. Come on. We can get married next week. Let's be married, yeah. I never give a hoot about any one of them. Look at me.
just battled the whole lot. Hey, man. How about that? How about that? How about that? 